Don't you see it? Don't you know? I would die for you. Every night I know you know that I cry for you. I know you feel my tears upon your back. So I fall to my knees for this demon I can name. I must protect you. I'll protect you all the same. This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh why won't we meet again? We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. I wish you'd said something sooner about why you'd have to go. As for the spies, it shouldn't have been too difficult to just dispatch two little girls. Yeah, that's what the head of security at the museum said about my sister and me. Boy, was he in for a surprise. I am not impressed by Elibrius's idiotic misogyny. I'll be in the obsidian mansion behind the door with the fan flower on it. I'm paying a visit to an old acquaintance. I am sorry, my dear, but there wasn't enough time. I do hope you can forgive me, but I had already told them a bit too much, and when I realized my folly, I had to leave. As for coming to visit, dot 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 dot, you'll just have to wait and see. I know, it's so rash. You're more professional than I, and I wish you weren't. I've kept my emotions bottled up for so long, and I just can't anymore. I need someone to love me. Someone who will hold me and tell me I'm all... I... Sorry, my pet. My sister's spies cut us short. Stop giving her what she wants! I'm sorry, Evan. I was just trying to think of something suitable to say. Um, I think I've got it, though. Uh, my first week on Earth, uh, I went fishing near Baja, California. Uh, some buddies that I picked up and I went fishing, we caught several catfish. One of them liked to struggle quite a lot. Uh, we couldn't seem to kill him, so we wound up naming him Balder after the Mary Sue god that just wouldn't die from Norse mythology. Uh, you know, I really do feel that uh, Loki is fairly misunderstood as a god. Uh, he gets the other gods out of a lot of trouble, and they don't bother to thank him. They just, uh, string him up in a cave with his son's intestines. Oh, spoiler alert, by the way, for those of you who haven't read or are not familiar with Norse mythology. Uh, Loki totally gets fucked over by the self-righteous... Uh, lap dogs of Odin, and it's a terrible, terrible, terrible story. Um, and uh, he gets strung up, and there's a serpent that strips venom onto his face. We suppose the venom might be acidic because it burns his face, it burns his follicles. Uh, of course, I'm from a land of fuck you science, so I really shouldn't know things like that. I shouldn't be able to reason like that, but if you could just uh, come with me on this monologue journey and not expect me to make any sense whatsoever, that would be great. He gets fucked over, and uh, his wife, the useful wife, not the nitrile Ingeboda, but the useful wife seeing is there with a bowl and helps him 
uh, by holding the ball, and Ingobota couldn't have uh, made herself useful by grabbing another ball, or, uh, I don't know, like an end table, or something else to help him out, and yet she's the one that most people remember. It's uh, really quite a, um, sure, I can't use that word on TV, um, it's, uh, she gets... Fuck, I mean, what can I say that is uh, not horribly rude to a group of, an ethnic group of people here? It's unfair. That's too mild. It's, it's, it's unfair that Angerboda gets all the notoriety. Um, shortchanged, yes, uh, Segan so gets shortchanged. Well, hallelujah! And, and praise, wow, finally, somebody else gets it. You know, this might have something to do with the fact that you and I are written by the same no member of the prod team and also voiced by the same, and this is, uh, this banter, this monologue, which you interrupted, by the way, is being done all in one take. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. He wanted to believe there was no, no hell on earth worse than what we know. Every day just seems to worsen, we're prepared at all. Now we must rise to this occasion, devoid of all consideration. Every day's a waking nightmare, waiting for the fall. Waging war with every single passing day, we will march to victory no matter what the cost. I could see the fear as it was plaguing all our eyes. He set aside our weakness and across the line. Any bear you break it down, no so so that's a red. Oh, Targo team do massacre so easily. The stand and fight without ever backing down. We'll offer up, we'll offer up. No sacrifice until our hearts are strong. With our own hands, we'll take a stand and carve a path into a future. We'll offer up, we'll offer up. Sacrifice until our hearts are stopped With our own hands we'll take a stand And live to see another day